All right, today we're making something kind of weird. And Michael asked me, he said, what you gonna make? And I told him a pie. He's like, what kind of pie? And I told him it's like a custard pie. Because I don't wanna hear his crap when he see, hears the name of it. It's called a vinegar pie. It's something old and rustic and it's been around for a long time. It's cheap, you use the ingredients that you have in your pantry. It's quick, it's good. It does come out kind of custardy, but I know when you hear vinegar pie, you're like, oh. Anyways, hear me out, watch, and learn, because it's going to be delicious. Well, hopefully I won't want to eat it. Huh? I'm hoping I won't want to eat it. Okay, so we're going to start with a stick of butter. So fat. And one cup of sugar. Those are pretty eggs, though. Yeah, the girl who grows those, like raises those chickens, she's hot. It's me. Alright, this butter is not, like, hasn't been setting out, so I don't anticipate this to be easy, easy. But let's start slow. And this pie is pretty easy, so I didn't whip out. This is a chunk of sugar. So I didn't whip out the big mixer. Oh. Yeah, it's an old one. Hey, you can make your own pie crust if you want. I'm not. I'm going to use a shortbread pie crust. Yeah, I'm flinging out my sugar here. So, this is going to send a few of you into conniption fits, but oh well. I'm just going to add a little hair bit more sugar because Jim Schwartz just had a uh, eight hour open heart surgery. Oh Tuesday. gosh. I hope it, well, obviously, well, she's here. Well, I'm glad you're recovering. I hope you have a speedy, speedy recovery. I probably should have let this come to like room temperature and tried to mix it. You know me. Not a really good planner. That's why, you know, I was thinking about it today. Um, like one of those chef people came up in my news feed. And it was like one of those shows where like the, I don't know, it was very tense. And the, the chefs in there were like, yes, chef, yes, chef, two more minutes, two more. Like they were freaking out. And it was just very tense. And. Here, at the Sugar Shy, food is love, and I don't know why I use paper towel. Food is love, <clears throat> and we don't want it to be stressful. We want to cook together and enjoy it. So, for those of you that are like big time chef people, and that might be more your speed, but that's not what this is. This is family cooking. Don't wear hair, hair nets. I don't, I'm not cooking for anybody else but my family. So, here food is love, not stress. Sometimes it stresses me out, but for the most part, it doesn't. I made a mess. That's why I'm wiping this up because I got sugar everywhere. Carla Knapp sent you 200 stores. Thank you, Miss Carla. Okay, now we're gonna add two eggs. Look at this pretty thing. It's from the Munson chickens. One. Two, that's a big one, big yolk. Pretty, bright yellow. Okay. Let me show them to you. Aren't they pretty? Big yellow yolks. All right. Sorry, I got a phone call. <clears throat> okay, then if you, if the money was taken out, then you're good. Now, <clears throat> the cookbooks, I ordered them 
this week. They take six to eight weeks to come in. And then as soon as I get them, I'm gonna start shipping them out. So I got two eggs, one cup of sugar, and one stick of butter. that in there mixed together really well. Should have got my big mixer out, but I didn't feel like taking that big mama jama up. This also, this little hand mixer is also a KitchenAid, and it works really well too. But usually I, I make big batches of stuff, or if I have a lot to put in it, I'll use my big mixer. But for this, this is good. distilled vinegar. Now I only have the half a teaspoon because I broke my teaspoon. I just what, need to glue it. And what's it called? Vinegar pie? Yep. Vinegar pie. One, two, three, but we need, that's, a, <clears throat> this is a half, so we got to put six. Susie just sent you 50 stars. Three, that was four, five, Six. Uh oh, what I do with that lid? There it is. <laughs> Michael, I asked you to get the vanilla. Oh, here it is. Now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. That's a half. Julia said that's a big staple pie there in East Tennessee. I know a lot of you would really have heard of it, but some of you probably haven't heard of vinegar pie. I've never heard of this. All right, so let's mix that together. You should probably rename it to just make the pie and taste it first. Well, I actually already wrote the blog post and I called it, um, I forgot what I called it. I tried to make it sound a little younger. But it comes out like a custard and it's it's really good. And it doesn't taste, it does not come out tasting like vinegar. But this was something they used to do back in the day. When they were trying to use like leftovers. Like mayonnaise cake. I've had a mayonnaise cake before, they're good. Okay, so we got that mixed in good. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of crushed coins. You could definitely do walnuts if you want. It's called vinegar pie, but I've called it something else. Something, something vinegar pie on the website. I can't remember what I called it now. Okay, let's see. Somebody said they have a water pie. A water pie? Yeah. Mm 
Okay. Well, Joe said rhubarb pie is where it comes from. Yeah, I like rhubarb. Now that we got our pecans in here, I'm just going to give it a little stir. And that's it. That is your pie filling, guys. Now, people are saying it's like a buttermilk pie. Yeah. Now, I love buttermilk pie. But not all buttermilk pie. Some buttermilk pie is really tangy to me and I don't like it. I like it sweet and creamy. Like my kids. Like your what? Cottage cheese pie. I want to throw up just, just here and there. Michael, I use cottage cheese a lot and you don't even know it. That was that crumbly stuff you tricked me into eating sometimes? That's feta. Yeah. That and blue cheese. And you don't tell me about it. You got mad when I tricked you with food. You know but I don't try to feed you nasty stuff. You let me eat that stupid stuff, blue cheese, and I hate it. And then I like, told you it was blue cheese. Yeah. I know you don't like blue cheese, so I do tell, I warn you about that. But I knew you would like feta. And cottage cheese, you can't even taste. Like, the way when I put it in stuff. Alright, so we're, I put that in a shortbread pie crust. You can make your own pie crust if you want to. That's completely up to you. The top of this will be nice and kind of crusty. All right, into the oven for 30 minutes at 325. All right, my oven should be preheated. It is, so pop this in there. All right, so we will be back in 30 minutes to take that out of the oven. Maybe a little more than 30 minutes because we'll cool, let it cool off. And then you eat, you top it with some Cool Whip to eat, but I don't even know if we have any Cool Whip, so we might eat it without. Yeah, we did. We did? He said he ate it. No, I was joking with you. <laughs> oh, Miss Lori loves cottage cheese and pizza. He won't eat it like that. I can only put it in things. Desperation vinegar pie. Michael, can you go look on my computer and see if it's pulled up? Mm. I'm talking to him while I go look so I can tell him what it's called. Michael. What, what do you want to talk about? Come talk to him while I go look and see what I called it on the computer. Oh. Uh, okay, I can do it right here. Michael, then there's just going to be one uh, that's nothing. Oh, blog. Alright. Um... Well, that's pretty cool. Jen's husband watches. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Jen's husband. I've never tried the mayonnaise cake. I want to, though. I'll make one for you. You have tried it. You didn't know. Who knows? She probably puts all kinds of stuff in my food. Probably been poisoned. And Kelly, what was in the pie? We had sugar, eggs, butter, and vinegar. And vanilla. Okay, I got it. I'm doing something cute. Must try vinegar pie. Oh, it's a must try vinegar pie is yeah. the name? That's what I called it. Must try vinegar pie. Hey, <laughs> nice. It's cute. So, I can go ahead and post it now, but it won't have a picture or the video. Well, we'll have video. I can go ahead and embed the video now. But it won't have a picture. So, there's that. Oatmeal cake, somebody said. Never tried it, but I bet I like it. Yeah. They don't know what you won't like. The only thing I don't like is plain oatmeal. Just like regular oatmeal with nothing in it. No sugar, no butter, nothing. Gross. 
Also, I know a lot of times y'all ask me about this um, Domino sugar container. I told y'all I spilled the sugar everywhere. And I have it in the Amazon store now, but it's, it's kind of expensive. It's like $24. You don't pay that much in the grocery store. But it's there so you can see it and find it. Should be links in the, um, a sauerkraut cake. I don't think I know. We ought to try a sauerkraut cake. Try a water cake. A water Mayonnaise. cake? Yeah, the water cake. Was it water pie water or cake? Water pie. Water pie, I'm sorry. Yeah, we put some Chopicons in it, Miss Mary. Yeah, he, you forgot the Chopicons in that list. So, it was um, sugar, butter, sugar, two eggs, three teaspoons of vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, Krista said, have you tried peanut butter pie? Um... And then the pecans. And a, lot so of people, a lot of people are asking about prom. Pickles. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is prom. Tomato soup cake. Michael, what we should do is Pinto go through this. Pinto bean pie. I bet I would like that one. What is it? Pinto bean pie. That does sound good. Okay. Um, oh, I left it on my desk. Will you go get my book? The giveaway book? Oh, the K2? Yeah. So the other day when we went live, I told y'all I had ordered this book. Amazon sent me two. So I gave one out as um, a prize for sharing. So share the video because I'm about to do it again. Um, and I know I didn't give you much warning. I think we're going to start doing that because I want you to think, share, share, share as soon as you get on. Um, but the other day, so I ordered, I ordered me this book. And when it came in, they had, they sent me two of them. And I told them, called Amazon, I was like, hey, y'all sent me two, how do I send this back? They said, <clears throat> don't worry about it, just keep it. So, I was going to mail this out to someone who shared. Um, and then I never made it to the post office. So, I ordered her one on Amazon. Amazon's going to ship it right to her. Um, that was for Miss Debbie Johnson. But, we got a lot of feedback. I didn't know a lot of y'all liked Cat Temp. The name of the book is You Can't Joke About That, Why Everything is Funny, Nothing is Sacred, and We're All in This Together. So I got a lot of responses. A lot of you were very interested in this book. So I'm doing it again. Um, I gave you a brief notice to share, share, share. And um, I want you to start doing that because we're going to start doing little giveaways in our lives. And you're just never going to know. I'm just going to do it. Ready? So, Michael, find somebody who shared it and pick a name. Just like scroll and pick. But not, not Debbie Johnson because she already got a copy. Well, that's mean. She can't, read two, she can't win two copies? I mean, she could, but why would she want to read the same book twice? I meant have two copies. She just needs one. And if y'all like books... What we could do is I, I can send you copies of the books that I'm reading. They're not always this. I don't always read conservative, you know, books. But, and if, listen, if he calls your name and you don't like Cat Temp or you don't want to read this book, just say, hey, thanks. I'm glad I won, but um, I don't want to read that book. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I don't even know if it's good. I just started it. it it's good so far, but... I can't really recommend it because I haven't finished it, but it's good so far. And I think I'm on chapter three, which is not very far in because I fall asleep. I read to fall asleep. Sometimes it backfires on me. I think it was All right, I'm on chapter three, page 27. So I'm not that far into it. He's going to pick somebody any day. I didn't. It was Sharon Rich. Sharon Rich. Sharon, please send me your um, address. Send me a message. Send me your address. If you don't know how to private message me, just go to the Sugar Shack Mrs. Munchin's page and click on message. 
Let me write her name down so I don't forget it. What, can I do? Yeah. Uh, I need something to write with. Puss. I'll, I'll text and see. Okay, that'll work. Sharon Rich. She's read 68 books this year. Wow, that's impressive. Um, so if you didn't, if you didn't win this time, don't be disappointed. Um, we'll do it again. I don't know how many times y'all want to do this book, but super easy to order it and just ship it straight to your house on Amazon. So we'll be doing more. Hey, it'd be pretty cool if Cat Temp came on one of your uh, little things and made a comment on No, I doubt she would. She could. She could. She should. Cat. Hello. Anyways, and you can always get the book yourself on Amazon. It's one of their Amazon Amazon bestseller list this week. Uh, Cat Temp. You can't joke about that. Why everything is funny, nothing is sacred, and we're all in this together. And as I was reading it last night, I was like, oh, that's a good line. I ought to read a passage from it from the book, but I didn't mark it. And this is actually the book that I haven't, that I'm actually not reading. So this is the one I'm going to send to someone, so I don't want to write in it. Although I should have. Man, I know that I ordered that one from Amazon. I could, I did send a note, a gift note, but... If I get my tail to the post office and mail this one, I can actually write a little note inside. Amazon must be pr desperate. Prices are going up. Well, you show me where they're not, girl. They're going up everywhere. Hello, Miss uh, Debbie Evans from Canada. And Canada can win, too. So we don't really Someone's know where she's from. saying how share is a bad thing. And you can always say sift the flour. But I say sift the sugar. Yeah, they say you're not supposed to say it, but I don't know. We used to say sprinkle, and everybody's like, what's that? I don't know. Carrie Hammond wants to know. You haven't received your cookbook. Well, there is a reason for that. It's because I just ordered it on May 2nd. So that was, we had a pre-order open, okay? And so I didn't place my final order. I was going to just order so many of them. And sell them, but I didn't want to get stuck with a bunch of books, so um, we did it as a pre-order. Um, so I just ordered all the books on May second. It takes six to eight weeks for them to come in, and as soon as they come in, I'm going to start shipping them out. So expect your book the end of June. I know that um, if I haven't been really good at communicating that, and you're upset about it, having to wait that long, I will happily refund you. I've, I've tried, you know, I've tried to communicate that. I know that some, most of you have heard me say that over and over again. But sometimes it does get lost in translation. Mike Walker, I have a set timer. I know. You put it at 647 on my clock. Okay. So, um. How long? 20 minutes? 30? 25? You, you got the chicken shirt? It was good. What? How, how, long, how many minutes? 30. So what? Uh, it's been 10 minutes. Yeah, but I mean, it'll be 715 this time-ish. Sounds good. So, um, I have said it over and over again, but I, I haven't, like, said it over and over again the whole live. Or, or I don't think I really communicated that super well because a lot of people are not getting that. But if you're upset about it, I will happily refund your money. Well, I, I don't think I'm going to get stuck. I know I'm not going to get stuck with them. So, I ordered... A number and plus I ordered extra. And Terry Mullins, Cupid said, that's not that long. I've been waiting on Paula Dean's new book since April to be delivered in November. Same with Brenda Gant. Yeah. Yeah, so I felt really bad about it at first and I didn't want to do that. And then I found out other cooks were doing it that way. So I was like, well, that's what we're rolling with. I know, we really didn't want to hurt Paula Dean, you know, with our, our sales. <laughs> yeah. And eventually, eventually, not anytime soon, I may put it on Amazon. But the thing about Amazon is it, they cost more. It's going to be it's going to be more than what you're charged now. They're $24.99 if you want to go grab one. Um, but when we put it on Amazon, well, first of all, I have to pay four or $500 for somebody to really retype the whole thing and put it in their format. 
or I could try to figure it out myself, but let's face it, I'm not good at technology. I'm just not good at that stuff. So I think I'll pay the four or five hundred dollars and then um then it would be available on Amazon. But that is not going to be anytime soon. Probably not until the next book comes out. How long are we supposed to uh let this go for? Once it comes out. Until it's cool. Okay. I mean, did you want to come back in a little bit or? Miss Carrie, you never heard of, Oh, Miss Miss Lulu, Louie Lou, Carrie Louie Lou. I looked and looked and looked and I did not see an order for you. Paula Dean has a new cookbook. That's what Terry said. Terry keep it. And, I don't know. And Maggie wants to get in on the pre order. Yeah, okay, so the link is Michael, let me see your phone so I can go grab the link and pin, and put it at the bottom. Crap, you're not an admin. He won't let me put him as an admin because I get 10,000 notifications a day. Um, Krista, my buddy, would you mind please putting that link? I know the original post was March 29th. Paula Dean has a new cookbook. Krista said yes, it's her last one. Oh, I need to get me a copy of that. She's Miss Susan Frost is waiting for a Georgia peach tea a month was told today, not till June. Is that the cookbook? I don't know, but I found your uh, glass full. You did? Is it broken? Oh, my God. Is my... Uh... Okay, I'll look for it again, but I searched Jennings and couldn't find it. And I'll search your email. But did you get, did it come out of your account? I ordered Paula's and got both of Brenda's books too. We need to do that. The other book I want to get, I keep saying I'm going to order it and I haven't ordered it yet. And it's on Amazon. Is another creator who has a Facebook page called Mountain Missy. I, I, Mountain Cooking with Missy. I like her too. She's real sweet. Does she really live on the mountain? Uh-huh. She lives in Kentucky. But on the mountain? Yeah. Okay. Like Terry. Pretty cool. Lots of fees. Does that say fees? Yes, lots of fees. No, I haven't ever sold on Amazon before. There is lots of fees. I think they take like 40%. So, or maybe it's, I get 40%. I don't know. It's a lot. How so, long till order shirts for cookbook? Oh, I need to get that together this weekend. So let me tell you what's going on in our world. Michael's surgery is June 12th. I think, yeah. Thanks. June 12th. In that time period, it's for his neck. We're not. It's not the mouth one. It's for his neck. In that time. On Mother's Day weekend, we are having a garage sale, and I've got to get rid of so much. It's, ooh, we got to get rid of, like, everything. He has got to be able to walk through every room without tripping on something. So, um, Brenda has a couple books, I think. I know she has at least two, maybe three. Miss Judy has um, Missy's cookbook. Is it good? Um... Terry's doing good. I just talked to her the other day. I think she announced that she was ending her page. I don't know if that's set in stone, though. I hope not. We'll see. Missy lives in the holler in Kentucky. Yeah. Like Terry. Down that holler. <laughs> like the language she uses. Huh? Hold on. I can't see. I think they were talking about somebody else. I like the video of one person just can't like the language she uses. Oh, I'm not sure who you're talking about. But, uh, Brenda has two books. I have one of Mama Sue's and she need to get her new one. Mama Sue and her son are so cute. Okay, so, back to what we got going on. Prom is this weekend. And all this week, we need to... Go through every room in the house. I need to go through all my clothes. I need to go through. We need to purge and get ready for a garage sale for Mother's Day weekend. 
And then after that, um, what else do we have to do, Michael? I feel like we got so much on us. I just have a ton of cleaning to do. I don't know why every time he goes in the hospital, I want to like just clean everything, but I do. You got both of Brent's books. That lady is so sweet and she's a great cook. Shoot, and Jennifer would love to live in the mountains. I don't know. It's the driving Terry's, through the mountains. Terry said she's told her husband that she wants to come to our garage sale, so don't be surprised if she pops up. Come on, girl. How much are the t-shirts going to be? Okay. I don't remember exactly, but it's going to go by, like, I don't get to really set the prices exactly. I mean, I do have some kind of a say-so in it, but I'm not actually making the t-shirts. Another service is going to make them for me. Um... And then they ship them to you. Um, I think they start, don't hold me to this, like $23.99 or $22.99. And then, so it's small, medium, large. Maybe the extra large. I don't know, I think. But then it goes up $2 for every, like when you get to 2X, it goes up $2. And 3X, it goes up $2. 4X, it goes up $2. And the reason for that is because um, those shirts cost more. That's just why. Because go, that goes up for me. Uh, I think you get to pick the color they're going to be. You're going to get to pick them. Anything else? So hopefully I can get that together this weekend. Y'all, it's all techie stuff, and I, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just be honest. I just got to figure it out. But I didn't know what I was doing when I wrote a cookbook either and figured it out. So I can do it. Link to the cookbook. There's my buddy. Thank you, Krista. Let's see if I can pin that. Pin. All right. Now, I just pinned it to the bottom. That comment by Krista Simmons. You're so helpful, Krista. Thank you. Um, that's where you can get... Am I going to do a pre-order on the t-shirts? No, it's not going to be a pre-order. Once you order them, they make them and ship them to you. What else, Michael? So, we made a shirt. The shirts are for people who contributed to the cookbook. We could make a shirt for people who didn't. Who just want a shirt. That's why I have teenagers. You would think so, huh, Miss Carrie? They, they, they always say, I don't know. I did... I did hire someone to help me with the pre-recorded videos. And another follower messaged me about that today. And said, God, I hate those pre-recorded videos. I said, you and me both, sister. They're hard. They're hard to do. They take up a lot of time. They're not fun. They're stressful. And I'm not good at techie stuff, so I'm not great at editing. So I had to hire somebody to help me with those. She has been wonderful. Um, and the good thing about her... She's not really a videographer. She's just someone who happens to know how to do that kind of stuff. So, she's going to edit three videos a week. And on one of the videos, she's going to use as a, a teaching lesson to teach me how to do it. So, not only am I getting her to work on some of the videos, she's teaching me how to do it too. What's on the t-shirts? Um, well, I can't show you because I'm recording on my phone. But... I will post it whenever they are up for sale. It's it, it basically says it's like in the shape of a heart, but it's not it's not like an outline. It's like just the words are in the shape of a heart. <clears throat> and what does it say, Michael? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Um when is prom and what dresses did they get? So First of all, Caroline wasn't going to go to prom. Only Camille was. So, I bought Camille a beautiful blue dress. She picks it out. She goes over to my sister's house. And when she comes back, all of a sudden, she doesn't like her dress anymore. Well, I can't return it. So, I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. 
So my sister bought her another dress and tried to sell the blue dress on Facebook. Then Caroline decided she was going to go to prom. And we borrowed a dress from a friend of mine for her. Because she's, Caroline, when I tell you she don't care, this girl don't care. She's not like Camille. Camille wanted to go pick out a dress. And she put a lot of time into picking out what flowers she wanted. And blah, blah, blah. Like the typical girl going to prom. Caroline's like, eh. I had to make that child go buy shoes today because she was going to wear the shoes from last year for homecoming, which would have been fine. But they're silver shoes, and she wanted to wear gold jewelry. I'm like, mm-mm, can't let you do it. So I had to make her go buy shoes, and she did not want to. Oh, and then since then, she also decided she's not going to wear the yellow dress. She wants to wear Camille's blue dress since it didn't sell. Whatever. So Camille's wearing pink. Caroline's wearing blue. Um, and you'll get to see pictures tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to do another live because I don't know if y'all know this now, but the new thing for prom, they don't wear corsages anymore. I guess some people do, but they don't wear corsages anymore. They want to make these little tiny bouquets. So we went to Trader Joe's yesterday and got a bunch of flowers and we're going to make their bouquets tonight. Um, hey, Dreama. Is my son going? No, he's in 10th grade. The twins are going to their junior prom. I think they'll look beautiful. I mean, they, how could they not look beautiful? They're so cute. Um, Miss Sandra Frost. That's who won the book, right? No? No, that's my, that's a family name, then. It is. It's actually Michael's, um, my grandpa maternal, is Robert, Robert Frost. Yeah, maternal grandparents. Last name Frost. Anyways, Miss Sandra said she raised five teenagers. That's what we got. Five of them. So, Miss Susan, we just made a very weird pie. It's called vinegar pie, but does not taste like vinegar. It's in the oven. It comes out. It's 710. Is it time? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. I know. Well, they make such a big deal out of these dances now. It's almost like a wedding. They make a big deal about the proposal to go, like, will you go to prom with me? <coughs> Homecoming is even ridiculous, too. It's really getting out of hand. But, I think some people, Michelle, have called it <coughs> a depression pie. Yep. Yep, Miss Jan, I think, I think they call it a depression era pie mm. but that's even more depressing than a um bitter well, pie let's take a look at it all right let me take a peek <laughs> oh it's so pretty i can't tell it's a little longer you yeah. said five more minutes huh yeah five more minutes would be 30 minutes okay we'll go five more minutes Um, she said, really? You have a family member by my last name? Yeah. Michael's grandfather is Robert Frost. And just like the poet, but he's not the poet. And my mother's last name used to be Frost. Yep. Mama's maiden name is Frost. So it might be related. Sandra might be my cousin. Cousin Sandra. We got another cousin, too. Was it Christina Munson? Yeah. Was it Christina? I forgot. So nice. I got the Frost, the Munsons. Now we need some barrettes. Yep. Y'all having fits with allergies? Girl, me too. <laughs> Don't say that, Krista, because they'll read that comment and they'll be trying to pull that off. And I'm like, mm-mm. She said those girls could go to prom. Melinda and Melinda had four or five okay. fusions. Never mind. No, well, you, you don't stop. Go ahead. I was going to say, she had four or five fusions. She has no more pain. And then they wanted to know about how the cookies turned out. The cookies were good. I ate some earlier. Am I painting my cabinets? Well, I was. That was the swatches we were trying to decide between. But I think I hate them all.
Not that they should, I'm just saying. But Krista said they could go to prom in, you know, cutoffs and a tank top, and they would still be the cutest ones there. Camille is very girly, girly. She would never do that. Caroline would be like, well, let's party. They're, they're all blue girls. Yep, we got about five more minutes on the pie. Sandra said she married her husband. He was born in Missouri. I don't know where the rest, I only know those, I don't know where the rest of the frost came from. Okay. So let's go back over the prizes. So the other day I accidentally got two books in from Amazon. So I gave one out as a prize and that had such a great reaction that we did it again today. So we picked someone who, um, sent the video out, shared, shared the video out and we we're sending them a copy of this book now. So I think we're going to do that er, uh, more often, maybe not every video, but Debbie says she likes the lighter gray. Yeah, that one's my favorite, too. But I just don't know. Um, so we're going we're gonna to send these, send out a little present. Maybe not every video, but you never know when I'm going to do it. I'm just going to holler, Michael, pick somebody. And then they're going to get a gift. It might be a book. It might be some kitchen gadgets. It might be, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. Um, Someone said, I want... I want to, but afraid it won't stay on. Do you have any suggestions on that? Did I miss something? I want to, but afraid it won't stay on. I don't know what she's talking about. Hey, Rhonda. So, my point is, when you hop on, make sure you sprinkle in these videos out, because you never know when... And we pick random people. We don't know any of these people. Um, and we still need to go and pick the top. I haven't picked anybody the last couple weeks because I haven't been doing a lot of lives. But Facebook applies some point systems if you are an interactor. Like if you interact with the page a lot, they give you points. And then it tells you who your top engagers are. So we've been picking people and sending them some gifts. And we've been sending them the, um, the bowls. Like, well, um, I've been sending them the Pioneer Woman bowls that I use that everybody seems to love. Um, but the problem with that, picking those top engagers, is you can only participate in that if your page is not set to private. So, this way we just pick random people. So, we'll do both. Right? Mm. Bottom two are my uh, favorite. It's time, man. Kill yeah. It. Okay. Can you give me something to put here? That'll work. This is an old baby blanket. All right, so well, Sandra show. said we're her best gift. Oh, that's so sweet. I just can't tell if this is done. This is what I don't like about custard. It's been 31 minutes, man. I know, but every oven is different. Still wiggly jiggly. It'll harden when Yeah, it cools. as it cools, it's going to wiggly, but it kind of looks toasty on top. Ashley said, did you get her email about the addresses? I don't know. I'll look for it. Okay. I did get a few that some people messed up on their addresses. Or, or they didn't update their address in PayPal or something. And I have notes, but I still will miss it. So whenever the books come in, I am going to wait a few days. I'm going to blast it all over Facebook. The books are in. Books are in. If you need me to change something, please let me know. You'll only have a few days. Because i got to get those books out to y'all. But just remind me then. Miss Marianne says she loves those sets. They're all good. So Krista said she wants to know where you got your spoons, your measuring spoons. But hold on. Somebody said you could stick a knife in the center or something to see if it comes out clean. Okay. Krista, I got them on Amazon. I think they're in the shop. If they're not, I'll go put them in there. 
I mean, what's clean? Poking pull down. It's juicy. Let's see, it's done. Wait, she said she was charged for four cookbooks on Amazon. I need to see that comment. Use my phone. Here, use my no, phone. No, I got it. Here, Miss Melba. Oh, she was charged for four cookbooks on Amazon. When you get time, can you make sure I'm getting four? Yes, I have you down for four. Did you mean, and I think you meant PayPal, but did you mean to order four? Because if you did, I can refund you. There's a few people I did refund. I think she's saying she ordered four. Make sure she gets all four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. PayPal. Yes. Okay. And yeah, baby, you just got to let that cool for a little bit. Probably be better to take it off the, the pan. Okay. We need to get a cool one, right? I know. Let's just use this old faithful pan and Bubby is getting after somebody. There we go. That should help. So we'll let that cool off. I know, I'm pretty excited about the cookbooks too. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well. I don't know why I just touched that, it's hot. Oh, Miss Melba, that's awesome. Good for you. So, Ms. Melba does the plant-based diet, kind of like our my in-laws, Michael's parents. She's lost 135 pounds, she said. And I don't know how long. Um, but she's also being featured in the June edition of Forks Over Spoons. Or Forks Over Knives. Which one is it? Forks Over Knives. Forks Over Knives. It's a magazine. They also have, they used to have a, a like a, show on Netflix called that too. So if you're interested, you can watch that, but she'll be in featured in that magazine in June. So I'm waiting for that June edition to come out. You want to hang your cookbooks in your kitchen? Well, I don't know if they're that. I mean, I showed you the, I think I showed you, you saw the cover cause I did a live one day and I showed it to y'all very briefly. Um, hey, not your cookbook. She wants to hang the little spoons for her decoration. Oh, okay. So like Chris. I was like, why would I was like, why would someone want to hang your cookbook? So I went, I went and looked at it. I was like, that's not a decoration. Okay. The spoons. Yeah, they came in a little chicken. Let me show you. She's in here. Let me just wash her. So my little, my little uh, measuring spoons. Here's her little the hen. And here's some of the spoons. And I got one right here. Well, one's in the sink. And I need to glue this one because I broke it. And they are like, what is this called? Breakable ceramic. Ceramic. They do break easy. That's the only thing I don't like about them. But I can never find a measuring spoon. So I thought that if I had a chicken and they could just go back in the chicken, I'd be able to keep up with them. And when the kids do the dishes, they never put them in there. So... Still can't find them. And then I also have these measuring cups. Uh oh. Where's the top to my chicken? What color is it? Red. I see it's right here. No, that's the bottom. Oh, oh wait, that's the top. Where's the bottom? That's what I need is the bottom. What color is the bottom? Red. I don't know. I can't like keep a lot of stuff. I put it in the dishwasher yesterday, so I'm hoping it didn't like fall out and melt at the bottom. I don't see it. Maybe I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure I did. 
Anyways, I got these little measuring cups. Here's the top. The bottom is actually the measuring cup. And it's like little nesting. So the top one is a chicken. You can barely see that. And then it's an egg. And then a little yellow chicken inside of it. And this one is a fourth, two thirds, and then one cup. I don't know where the bottom to my red chicken is. That's how they come. Can it be lost on the next sugar shack? It can be lost, I can assure you. It's so frustrating. And I know y'all always say, why can't you want your kitchen? Well, we got seven people that live here, and you never find nothing. And there's always a craft or a project, some of them. All right, so we're going to get... What? I was going to say we were going to get out of here, but... Okay, I think this is done, because it's, it's hardening. I need to put it on something I can take a pretty picture of. All right, well, let's go ahead and stage us a picture. Well, get your little uh, wood thing over there. Well, I was going to use my new pretty one. Because I need some moisture here. They're all pretty, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I see it. Hold on, guys. No, I better not, because I didn't put that wood conditioner on it yet. All right, let's go to you back to old people. And when the twins get home, which Camille gets off work at 8 o'clock. 30 more minutes. Wow. That came out of nowhere, huh? We're going to make their bouquets. So we can do that live. If you don't want to see the flower arrangement, you don't have to. You just know that we love you anyways. How do I make that pretty? Take a slice of pie out of it. Well, it's too hot for me to cut it now. It'll fall apart if I cut it. Well, that's all you can do, then. Let's we'll have to do your pictures later. That's why I said to let it cook, and we could have came back and actually tried the pie. Well, I meant to come back, but I just kept talking. I know. I did use the red one for potatoes. So I said, what are you growing under the heat light? I'm not growing. Well, kind of. Come here, little one. Come here, little one. These are our little baby chickens. I don't want to get too close because they're... People will die. So I said, put a piece of mint in the middle. piece of mint? Yeah. Krista said, lay a silk flower across the cutting board. That's a good idea. I got real flowers. This is one of our little bitties. Hey, I think this one's a rooster. See how he's getting his comb early? You'll see it real close. He's like, whoa, that's light. That's bright. I think he's going to be a rooster. Let's see what else we got. I think this one's a rooster. I think this one is a female. Can't really, you can't really tell for sure, but if you look, you see how there's no evidence of a comb yet on this little girl? You're a girl, aren't you? Yes, I am, Mommy. Is that the cute one I picked out with the striped down spec? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, it's hard to tell. They haven't changed. This one is really cute, too. Come here, do you have a comb? I think this is the one you picked up. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, there's a little comb showing. So, male? Rooster? Uh, I think it's a possibility it's a male. But it's, it's not foolproof. I don't know what they are. There's only four of them. So I said, do you have a decorative pie server for your... Uh... Oh, I do have a decorative pot plate. It's in the um, pantry in the laundry room, babe. Hint, hint. What do you want? In that cabinet above the washing machine, there's a pretty pot plate in there. You also have one in there and it's white. No, I want that one. Somebody wants to know how many chicken things. Well, 
let's see. I've got 16 plus those four, that's 20. And then I have another, I have more babies outside, but they're bigger babies. So they're in their uh, little brooder outside. They'll be able to go with the big chickens June 1st. And when they go to the big chickens, then I can move these little girls and boys um, outside. Let's spin the cabinet so we're gonna wash that out. This one is a Pioneer Woman pie plate. Michael, you said I had a white one? I, I think you do in that can right there above the mixer. No, I think that's a Pyrex dish that you're looking at. Yeah, no, I don't have one up here. Can you get it out and put it in there? No, I'm just gonna... That's what somebody said. I don't know how you do that, though. Gonna stick it in there like that. Now, if I made a pie crust, it would be really pretty in this, but I don't, I don't love pot homemade pie crust enough to do all that. That is a little prettier. All right, let me see your phone. Let's see if I can get a decent picture. So, this will be because I really need to take more than one picture for Pinterest. Okay. But I don't have that cool thing like you have. That's all right. We can just put on portrait and. <sighs> Maybe we put cool if or it'll cool it off. <laughs> I'm joking, Kelly. I think the cool up would just melt. Is it hot? It's still warm, yeah. I don't know. I don't love it. Here's the potato chips. Yeah, it's not, they're not in here, so. I don't know where that little chicken is. Just waiting on this to cool off. No, that thing's gonna take an hour to cool off. What if we stuck it in the refrigerator for a few minutes? It would help. Will it make it gross? No, it's just gonna cool off. Excuse me, babies. I know I'm going to get 10 pounds of comments about why I got little chickens in my kitchen, how gross that is, but those aren't little chickens. They're babies. And all babies are gross, including humans. You know my foes, too. So you want the comments, girl? Yeah. Lori said, "Cut the aluminum off with scissors." But don't. Do you think it would like fall apart? I do. I think it might. Now I do have a pie cutter. Even if you do that, it's gonna come out all. No, I meant to get a pretty good slice out. I mean, you can wait, you can let it chill for like six, ten minutes. Oh, these kids. This does not go in here. Alright, cleaning the kitchen. Mrs. Munson. about this. Loretta said throw, throw in the freezer. We could do that too. I don't know if there's room in that freezer. No, not really. Not, that's why I didn't do that.
Somebody said a shirt of you making different faces when I say things would be a cool shirt. Michael, can you look in that corner in that black thing and see if that pie cutter is in there? Yes, in fact, I already have the recipe written out. I just need to post a picture with it. So it'll be on shortly after the lab. Is. Yeah, in the corner over there. That black thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's in a tight spot. He's not happy. You want me to call Ethan? Do, but do you see the pie cutter in it? <laughs> it's not a pecan pie. It's a vinegar pie. Or some people call it depression era pie. Yay, he found it. But it's not going to taste like vinegar. I know it has a weird name, and I hate I hate it even telling y'all, we're making vinegar pie. Because a lot of people hate vinegar. But, um, it's not, you're not going to taste, it might have a, it's not going to taste like vinegar. It's there just to give it like a little, but yes it's kind of like a um what's that milk pie michael buttermilk pie a buttermilk pie similar it has nuts in it all there right there's some buttermilk pies i like some i don't he's a picky pie Peter. surprising Well, if you had to name your favorite pie, what would you say it is? Me? Cheesecake. Which I don't know why they call it cheesecake, because it's more like a pie. Kind of. Um, I know, I used to think that was so mean when I was a kid. I would see pie, and I could cut me a piece and realize it was cheesecake, but... Ugh. My favorite pie? I don't really have a favorite. I like pumpkin pie, I like sweet potato pie, I like pecan. I like cherry, I like apple, but I don't, I'm not huge on sweet, honestly. Not like he is. Well, I'd probably say like pumpkin pie, potato pie, something like that, sweet potato pie. Probably my favorite. It used to be pecan. Or if anybody's ever had a derby pie, that's pretty good. Which is essentially a chocolate pecan pie. Yeah, I think it has coconut and cho chocolate in it, though. I don't think it has coconut. Chris said coconut cream is his favorite. What's that other one that's uh green? Somebody said Michael and his sound effects. What did I do? <laughs> Cheek cake? This feels like it's falling apart. Might still be too hot. Yeah, people are saying coconut's their favorite pie. Yeah. Not not in a pie, but like a a coconut cake. That is so good. But Kelly doesn't like coconut. I don't know if I can do this pretty. We're saying key lime. Yeah, key lime. That's what it was. I like that one too. Somebody said derby pies, chocolate, pecans, and Kentucky bourbon. Which this weekend is the derby, right? It's still hot. The bottom of that thing is hot. Turn that way. I know. Let me see if I can make room in the freezer. Ooh, somebody said raspberry cream pie. I was trying to get Kelly to do a cake earlier that was raspberry. Because I was in the mood for it, really. But... Well, you know why I didn't do it? Because it was going to take... For it, no, because it, it was going to take like 45 minutes. I was like, that's taking too long. So and here we are. Over an hour? Yeah. I mean, the bottom is still kind of hot to like hold. So, Teresa said pistachio pie. Let me tell you, Teresa, go back through some of the videos 
We made pistachio cookies. And Kelly made pistachio cookies. And they were good. Macadamia nuts, my favorite cookie, but that one comes in really good, really close. She said, do you, you gagging after you feel after eating? He don't like cheesecake. He don't care for it. I love cheesecake. Ethan loves cheesecake. Uh, do the girls like it? Kind of. Like Nally likes it. Rhubarb pie. I like rhubarb. I like strawberry rhubarb. And everybody in my family always loved the cream cheese king cakes. So I always had to like unroll and scrape all the cream cheese out before I could eat it. Almond toffee pound cake. That sounds good. Caroline makes a good pound cake. And I asked her the other day. She's like, we haven't made that in a while. We need to make that. I said, do you remember where you put your recipe? She was like, uh, we need to find that because that's a good pound cake. We haven't made that in a long time. Mm -hmm. We'd eat that whole thing up too. That's one we wouldn't wait for. It's cool. We just, yeah, we cares? didn't. Who cares? It's hot. We had blisters. All... We didn't care if it was pretty. That was before the blog. So, it was before we had to take pictures. Cheesecake chocolate is your favorite? I like the ve the f vegetable, the fruit cheesecake. Have I lost some weight? A little bit. Jill wants to know who braids your hair. Me, girl. I should have said to you. <laughs> 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 he would braid it, though. If, if he knew how. I know how to braid. Do you? I mean, I can braid. I just can't do the hair like that. But I, I know the concept of braiding. But I just wouldn't. Like how the girls like split your hair and do it in sections. I'm just grabbing chunks of hair and weaving. Come braid my ponytail. I'm weaving. Come braid it. Let me see if you can do it. Why do you say I can't? Of course I can. <laughs> Bring your phone so I can read comments. Yeah, right. no, I'm going to sit. All right. I'm Bring me your phone, though. I surely can't see Cummins up for. Let's see if he can do it. Well, be gentle, Lord. <laughs> you <gotta> play. <laughs> see this part right here. See, I have like all kinds of little strands in here. I'm watching you do it. Get it. This, all the hair comes out of my hands. Well, that's part of braiding. If you can't control the hair coming out of your hands, then you can't braid. I can't see. You didn't do too bad. Told you. I think you did pretty good, Michael. Told you. Let's see. He did it. He enjoyed that too much. He was pulling it kind of hard. Told you I could do it. He did. Chickies, did you see Daddy Bray? Christine Carcella said I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah. Hey, you've done pretty good at the All those years of doing those kids' hair. You could have helped me. <laughs> But they didn't want me to braid their hair. They, they still tell me I can't braid. No, you can't braid. I'm going to show them this video. And they're going to be mad too. Still warm on the bottom. This is aggravating. I hate waiting for stuff to cool off. <laughs> you should get it cooling right. I mean, how can how can you get cooler than the refrigerator? All right, we're going to cut this piece and taste it. And yes. then we'll leave the rest of it intact and then we'll make a pretty picture later. Yeah, somebody asked a happy hen house on the PayPal was you. Yes, yeah, it is. That's us. So the Sugar Shack or the Sugar Shack with Mrs. Munson is a DBA, a doing business as. Ah, it did fall apart. Dang it. 
It's definitely not pretty. But now we're going to have a taste. Mm -hmm. That's the but now we'll part. be able to taste it. And now it'll cool better in the middle. What do you think, Pondra? <laughs> All right, where's your Cool Whip? In the refrigerator. And it's falling apart like this because it's still too hot for me to cut. I'm going to go with AB Peach or Ab Peach. Just since you will. Uh, it's AB Peach, yeah. Plunger Stowers. Thank you, Miss AB. All right, let's see. All right. I might could get a picture out of this. Jill said she bought your spoon. It's cool. My spoon? Mm-hmm. The chicken spoon? I guess. She might be talking about that colander spoon. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one you're talking about. Mm, that's probably what she's talking or about. Or maybe the ones I got at Hobby Lobby. Is that cool? Good? Well, why wouldn't it be? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is this? I bought that coconut, uh... Cool Whip yesterday from TJ's. I should. I don't even know why I'm looking at the date. There is no way Cool Whip is going to go out of date at my house. <laughs> they eat it just plain. Mm mm. It tastes like a con buttermilk pie. Come here, Michael. You cannot taste the vinegar. I swear to God, if I taste vinegar. You won't, Tit. Here. Mm -mm. Do you taste vinegar? That's going to be really interesting when it hardens. When it's firm. I want to try it then. Okay. I like it like this. I like it hot. It was good hot, but it's going to be really interesting when it firms it. I know this live took forever, but I'm going to tell you, this is quick to make. And it's really good. She said we have a Dollar Tree bias. What? Do you see her comment? You get like six or eight. Um, um. Spoons? Are you talking these spoons? Mm-hmm. The Happy Hen House Boutique. Yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. Miss Barbara, I don't know about giving him any more good eyes. An hour and 15 minutes. Okay, we've been on long enough. <laughs> we were just hanging out, really. But it does not take that long. It's because I ran my mouth forever. It only takes 30 minutes to cook, and because we were sitting here waiting Maybe on it Maybe 35 minutes, 5 minutes of prep. It doesn't take long. It's super fast. So, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do it fast because I just ran my mouth the whole time. We ain't got nothing better to do. We like hanging out with you. With you guys. I'm going to look, Miss Luann, but I did look and I did not see it. Okay, so we're going to, I'm about to go post the recipe right now, Miss, Miss Susan. Or was it Sandra Frost or Susan Frost? I think it's Susan. I can't see good. Yeah, I don't remember anymore. And I have the memory of a tick. It's just going like that. The mom's worse than yours. Or a flea. The attention span of a flea. Okay. Well, I'm going to get off of here. We're going to let this... Go. I'm going to hide this so the kids don't cut into it. Even though, really, only Ethan's here, but he's the one i got to worry about. At least Michael tolerates store-bought crust. Krista said her husband wouldn't tolerate it. He wouldn't tolerate it. Well. You could just do that crust right there, some cool with a little chocolate syrup, and then eat it. Yeah. When it comes to desserts, he is not a snob. Mm. I'm done though. I'm good. Sandra. Okay. So you can make your own homemade pie crust if you want to. It would probably be delicious in that, but I just don't want to. 
He, you done spoiled him, Krista. Okay, I'm getting off of here. I'm going to go. I'll put that in the microwave. Let me see if I can get a picture of it like this. Yeah, you, you done said you was going to go like 20 times. Right? I know, but um, if I'm staying in the kitchen and take pictures, might as well hang out with them. Krista said his mom did that. Yeah. You ever seen that meme where it said, Dear mother-in-law, I don't need your parenting advice. I, I saw what you did. <laughs> Although my mother-in-law has good parenting advice. Can I borrow your phone? Okay, I do declare. Man, I just don't know. Hey, Caroline, come, Caroline didn't even come home yet. Yes, she did. She did? And then she left again. Yeah, I know, but she hasn't come back. It's been gone for a while. And I wonder here. if it would be prettier if I stuck a thing of Cool Whip on top here. Just come back later when it cools off and get that. Here. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go post it. I'm probably gonna wait till the picture is ready, and then I'll post it. But it'll be on there tonight because it's already typed up. All right. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. For for Cinco de Mayo, we did vinegar pie. <laughs> <laughs> vinegar pie. No Mexican here tonight. All right. So we'll see you. <laughs> A little later because we're going to make some bouquets. So I'll be back in a little bit.